Hi, my name is John Five, and I play guitar for Rob Zombie. Um, let's see, in the past I played for David Lee Roth and Marilyn Manson, Rob Halford, Katie Lang, and um, I actually started playing guitar when I was about seven years old. And um, I actually wanted to be a session musician, just to play on different records and to play on, you know, um, a different band every day. And I started learning, taking lessons at a very early age. And I was so little that um, my left hand, I would play so much and I would stretch. My left hand grew uh, larger than my right hand, which is a kind of weird, freaky thing that not, uh, not a lot of people know. Uh, my early influence, um, I loved the monkeys when I was a kid. You know, I was so little, but I was really into, into the music. and. Uh, then I started getting into Kiss and the whole look and, and sound and vibe of it. And it just really had an effect on my life. And um, I remember this vividly. We had this place in Michigan called Harmony House. And I would always go and look for new Kiss records because, you know, I never knew when they would come out or anything like that. So I would just always go look. And I saw this Van Halen record. And it said Gene Simmons on the back of the record. And of course, you know, I knew everything there was to know about Gene Simmons. And so I bought the record thinking, you know, I was, you know, very, very young at the time. I was like eight years old or something. I was thinking like he was a part of Van Halen or something. And then I remember putting it on and um, what an effect it had on my life. And uh, it was a true epiphany for me because hearing that sound um, really changed my life. And so after that, I was a Van Halen nut for forever, and I just learned everything I could. Um, my teacher, who I was so lucky to have, this he was a, a real musical genius. He could figure out everything. And this is, you know, when Van Halen 2 just came out. This guy was amazing, and he taught me everything you know and i was i would just go to my lessons every week just so excited and all i would do is play guitar but after van halen that's when i started getting into Ingve malmstein i heard steeler and it was a band that Ingve was in and i remember being so blown away and um that really stayed with me for a long time i remember i was in fifth grade and we had this band and um we would just go and play covers, you know, it was just really to get experience. And uh, for some re weird reason, I understood that, you know, even if there wasn't people there or, you know, girls throwing their, you know, fifth grade bras up on stage, I understood it was more experience. So I was playing this place called the Hamtramck Pub and, you know, my parents were there and all the, you know, the people and it was literally this, this bar and, um, I remember being very nervous because, you know, there was a lot of people there and I was, you know, in fifth grade and um, the singer said, make sure you're careful because the stage is very flimsy. And I was like, you know, me, I was like, oh, okay, I know what I'm doing. So I go walking out there. I'm the first to go walking out there. Here they are, you know, and everyone's clapping. So I go out there and I have my guitar around me just like this and I step on the stage and I course I wasn't listening the stage is so flimsy and I go falling and you know skid my you know chin across the stage and the guitar is feeding back and that was my first time on stage and just fell in front of you know everybody so knock on wood that was my worst stage experience of falling or something it was the very first time on stage you know even if you're playing clubs and people aren't there and there's that guy, your drummer or your bass player saying, what are we doing this for? It's all for experience because later in life, when you go and play, you know, your local huge uh, Enormo Dome or the arena in town, you'll be experienced and you won't be as nervous because all those little places you played and every time you step on stage, you will feel more and more comfortable. <laughs> As soon as I finished high school, I uh, 
got in my car and I drove to Los Angeles and I didn't know anybody but I uh, lived in this warehouse and I started playing around town and getting my name out there and luckily I started doing sessions and I would do them really cheap and really fast so a lot of people would start using me because there was like oh there's this kid in town and he's doing these sessions for half of the price of the other people and he's getting them done really quick because I was like you know I had no idea what I was doing but I knew I had to do it quick and get out of there because you know they wanted the the singer in there or whatever I was just the guitar player filling in for the song and um, that's how I started playing with so many different people and then I started going on auditions for tours you know I understood like if I was going on an audition for like Katie Lang there was like 200 guitar players so I learned all of her songs and you know all of the different tunings and all the country stuff and and um, you know I got the gig I looked kind of out of the ordinary and I think that's what's really important if you're going out to do a tour understand like if you're going out to audition for a certain band understand the look understand what kind of guitars they use understand you know what they're about and um, don't go in there you know looking like someone else look like that band you're going to audition for and uh, that's what I've always done I think that had a lot to do with it with um, why I'm doing well today it's just you know it's who you know and getting your face out there and playing as much as you can you know after a show I'll meet I'll meet fans out by the bus or something and they'll say how do I make it in the music business which you know it's a very hard question to answer let alone answer when you're walking to the bus really you know because I I think about it so what I did was I understood that I wasn't going to do anything in Michigan and I understood that I needed to move to Los Angeles or New York and uh, the reason I picked Los Angeles is because you know at that time in the 80s all the you know hair bands were you know there and all the guitar players and everything so I moved to Los Angeles and I hate cold weather anyways but I understood that I needed to go where bands were getting signed where things were happening and I tell that to a lot of people and I think they get discouraged because they don't want to hear the truth of you have to move away you have to move out of your safe area to to make it in a certain business that you want to be in. I practice quite a bit and um, I don't do it to like be the best player or anything like that I do it just for really uh, peace of mind I just love to um, play guitar and I always have a guitar with me if anybody knows me it's you know I look you know uncomfortable without a guitar on me but you know I, I love learning different styles because it was like you know you get tired of eating the same food you know it's like you want to learn something different so instead of playing rock all the time I love like I was saying before playing different styles of music which I think is important if you're going out to um, try to be a, a successful musician because it's not always power chords and, and arpeggios or something like that you know sometimes you need to, to do different things and different styles at least I have in the past and I always felt in school if someone asked me a certain question about math or history and everybody's looking at me like they're looking at me now and they asked me a certain question the, the teacher asked me I always felt very uncomfortable if I didn't know the answer and I never wanted to feel that way about music or about a certain style of music or playing if someone asked me to play a certain style I would I wanted to be educated enough to know how to execute that style that's why I love sitting around and learning different things it's you know it's for myself too it's just fun to do like uh, banjo style and uh, things like that it's totally different from rock of course because you're using your fingers and a 
um, Western swing. So different styles like that, I like playing just to keep, you know, keep it interesting. Um, you know, it just keeps it fresh and it makes me want to play guitar more because there's different things for me to practice um, behind the nut bends. Things like that, weird stuff like that, you know, are, are things I like to play and practice other than just heavy rock music. And um, when I joined Katie Lang, there was this multi-instrumentalist named Larry Campbell, and he played banjo, mandolin, and lap steel, and guitar, and fiddle, and everything else. And all he did was practice, and he just played all these instruments just amazing. And so that's what really, you know, made me study country. And um, I just love, love playing that style as well. Right now I play with Rob Zombie, and um, it's I just couldn't be happier. It's just such a perfect fit because, um, you know, we're making some really great music, and I get a chance to play, you know, and I get a chance to do solo live and, and uh, really get a chance just to run around on stage and be who I am. That's where I am right now, and I'm also putting out these instrumental records, which I did just for fun. When I left Marilyn Manson, I was like, all right, well, maybe I'll put out an instrumental record just, just for the hell of it. And um, put it out, and it got so popular. I was so surprised. It was on the cover of all these magazines. You know, I couldn't believe it. And it was just this crazy instrumental music. And now I'm working on my um, fourth record. And uh, so it's, it's, been, it's been great. I've been very lucky. And, very happy with what I do. Um, I play Fender guitars. I have my own signature series. This is the prototype, actually. And I have three different models. I was playing with another company, and I was at the NAMM show, and Fender came up to me and said, would you like to, you know, check out our guitars? And I was actually always playing their guitars throughout my whole life. You know, at a very early age, I loved Hee Haw, that television show, and they all played Telecasters, and so I always played a Telecaster. But um, Fender came to me and said, would you like to do your own signature series? And that's when um, I started using uh, uh, Fender and got my own line of guitars. And uh, it's been great ever since, just to have my name associated with Fender, let alone have my own signature series, which is still incredible to me. Um, I use Marshall amps. I've always used Marshall amps for God knows how long. You know, ever since I've been playing through an amp, I've pretty much used uh, um, Marshall amps. Um, I don't use a lot of effects. When I was in Marilyn Manson, I had a, a bunch of effects. And somebody said, oh, John Five, you know, he, he all he is is effects. And so I was so shocked. And, and it was just one person that said that. But... Since then, I only use like a distortion pedal and a wah pedal, and that's pretty much all I use because, you know, I just always let my hands do, you know, the work. And um, same thing with a bar. You know, someone said, oh, he uses a bar a lot, so I, I stopped using a, a bar. So that's what, you know, in the beginning, you saw me do a lot of stuff behind the nut and down with this, you know, with the tuning peg. So, you know, I hope he... I hope no one else says, oh, he only uses six strings, and then I'll have to learn everything on, like, five strings or something. But I just basically just use a couple of pedals and Marshall amps and um, Fender guitars, and that's pretty much all I've ever used. <laughs> 